Hello fam. This is what we got today. It ain't much, but I'm here. And I think that's my new motto. We're going to upload. Whether or not I feel like it's good enough, I'm just, I'm trying new things. I'm working through the ADHD and the depression. So you're going to get something. It might not be good. I mean, I'm going to try to make it good, but I'm really working on myself. So and you hear all about that. This is a very chatty get ready with me and testing new makeup. I forgot where I was. So we're just going to jump right into the video. We're testing some new makeup, playing with some new things, talking about health and uh, showing you some picture from me and my girlfriend. And yeah, that's what today's about. All right, make sure you like and hit the subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you as part of our little family. Everyone's so cool, so supportive. You won't regret it. I promise. All right, let's get into it. Hello, I'm cold, so I'm putting my robe back on, but I don't know what this is, y'all. I've got new makeup here to play with. I've been saying I was going to show you some footage from my friend's fitness competition that I did her makeup for, so I'm gonna throw that in here too. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a get ready with me slash trying new makeup slash whatever the hell this is, so. All right, let's jump right in. I was looking for a new sunscreen and I thought I would give this a try. This is the, I was looking for a new morning moisturizer with vitamin C. So I did see this from Pacifica. This is the E C and C Face Serum SPF 55. So I do have that on. I've been using it about a week now. I like it. I have been using frownies and they are working y'all. I feel like my forehead lines are much less pronounced and also I make faces in my sleep. I clench my jaw and I wake up with tension headaches and I feel like it's been helping with that too. So I've got a new cup. Okay, so when Ulta was doing their like 20, not the 21 Days of Beauty, what is it? Their, it's their summer beauty stuff. So. Jcat, which is a brand I love. I saw this palette. It is their Jungle Roar. And first of all, it's just cute packaging, right? I mean, look at this color story. It's so cute. I've used it a couple times now. I can already tell you I love the mattes. The shimmers are okay. But for drugstore, it's pretty, pretty good. I will leave the prices of everything down here. And so, yeah, let's zoom in and create a look. I'm going to try to use some of the colors I haven't used before. And I'm going to do an orange look because I haven't done that yet. And I'm going to start with this color here, which is called Swing By. So what is new with you guys? I have been going through it. I have had a lot of doctor appointments. I finally feel old. I had to buy a pill organizer. Fun. So that's the stage of life I'm at now. Uh, my doctor put me on some meds for my migraine and that seems to be working. I do have a little bit of a headache today, but it's sitting at around a three right now, which if you have migraine, you know that's not too bad. I can function today. That is a very nice transition shade and it's going on beautifully. I also got put on a different med for my ADHD, which seems to be working much better. I am on Concerta. It's crazy because they, um, you know, there's two different types of medication for ADHD. There's non-stimulant and stimulant. I've heard such bad things about stimulants and I had to go through all the tests to make sure my heart was okay for to take stimulants because I, um, I had a very serious illness. I almost died. Triggered an autoimmune disorder. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it. Um, but anyway, I had an echo and an EKG and all that make sure my heart was okay. But the non-stimulant, I was on Stratera, it was not working for me. So they, everything was okay. So they put me on Concerta and I was scared because I've heard like horror stories with stimulants like Adderall and stuff like that and the first day I took it and mine's extended release going in with on the wild side this one right here 
And by the way, my nails, this is a, actually a, it's an eyeshadow that I put over a, that I put over a sticky base. This is Nirvana. Oh, what's the name of this company? I'll put it here. But what I noticed, the first thing I noticed, I, I work at home with my husband and I looked at him and I said, my mind is quiet. Like for the first time, I felt like I could organize my thoughts. Because if you have ADHD, you know that like executive functioning is a struggle. Like the ability to prioritize thoughts, prioritize chores, goals, whatever. It's a struggle. And I'm anxious to actually look back on this video and see if I can tell a difference in how I'm speaking because I feel like I've talked to you guys before about how it's very hard for me to find words. Part of that is my non-traumatic brain injury, but another part I think is the ADHD because I'm finding that since I've been on the medicine, I find the words a little faster, so. I don't know. I, I find it very interesting that for the ADHD brain, the stimulant has the opposite effect. It's actually calming. I don't want to sound like kooky, but it actually calms the noise. So that's been very interesting. So yeah, I've been meaning to post a little more, but I can pretty much only film on the weekend and on weekday mornings because I do work. And while I work from home, you know, I still have to be on my computer at a certain time. So in the past two weeks, I've had five doctor's appointments. So, uh, and they, I always schedule them in the morning, which is when I would film. So I haven't been able to film. So that's why you're kind of getting the all-in-one video today. But I did, um, and on the weekends, it was my sister's birthday. Happy birthday to my big sis. You guys have to tell me, doesn't my sister look like Tina Fey? She's so pretty. I love my sister. I'm glad now we live. I've never, since I was like 20, I haven't lived near her and my nieces and my great nieces. So I'm happy to be back in Florida. I really wish my brother was still alive. It would be awesome to be living. It'd be awesome to be back here living, being near him again. Okay, sketch that shape out. Now we're gonna go on with this. Ew, I don't like that name. Jungle Juice. I wash my brushes, aren't you proud of me? I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, y'all, and I'm terrified. I'm filming this on Sunday. I don't know when you'll see it. Tomorrow's Monday and I have an appointment. So yeah, I have dentist appointment tomorrow and then Friday. I got, I had a mammogram on Tuesday and before I even got home, I got a call. Well, when I when I went in for my mammogram, they were like, okay, backtrack. My mom had breast cancer and my grandma had ovarian cancer. So I'm high risk, obviously. So I'm 46, went in for my mammogram. So before I got home, so when I left, she said, it'll be about a week and you'll get your results. So, but before I even got home, they called me and were like, yeah, there's an area of concern. So we're gonna, we would like to do a diagnostic mammogram and an ultrasound. So I'm having that done Friday. I'm a little nervous, but not terribly. Um, I did have some blood work done recently and everything looked good there. So, so if y'all would like to send some positive vibes or some prayers, I will gladly take them. Also when they were running some tests, um, so my doctors always thought I had uh, RA, but it's looking like I might not have RA, that it might be some sort of other other autoimmune. So I'm seeing a rheumatologist in a couple weeks for that. And got a B12 shot. She's, she started me on B12 shots and that's awesome because those always, I always feel great after those. So yeah, now everyone's caught up on my medical, on my medical history. Now you can see why I'm feeling super old lately. All right, let's go in with this dark, dark, dark brown. Unbearable, I think it's this brown here. Yeah. As you can see, it's working beautifully. Just deepening up this outer corner a little bit. My battery died. I don't remember what I was talking about. 
anyway but if there's any specific videos you would like to see let me know i have been doing um like tiktoks and reels and shorts nearly every day and i've been doing stuff with the doggies too my pups they're all around me i feel like snow white i want to bring some gold and green into it i think so let me grab my trusty nyx glitter glue so my good friend vaughn is she was in a fitness competition and she is amazing. She worked so freaking hard. She did so well. Also, I just love her. She's an amazing person and if you need some motivation, not just like fitness motivation, but just life motivation, I highly suggest following her over on Instagram. I will link her page down below. But yeah, Vaughn and I have been friends since school. Um, we used to skip school together. I'm not promoting that. We had good grades though, so. But I'll put in some pictures here, and in a minute I'll throw up a little video of me doing her makeup and how it came out. She looked amazing, if I do say so myself. Bond's a natural girl, so we didn't go crazy. We did just natural, uh, with a little pop of something special on the eye. Just enhanced her natural beauty. And Vaughn is my age and she looks 20 years younger than me. So that was fun for me. But I love her. I love her family. Her her grandma, I can't even. She is just the most precious lady. So I think I want to use this dark green right here. It's almost black. Uh, Vaughn is also a veteran. She's just a bad biatch. I love her. It was so inspiring. She also has two of the cutest kids I've ever seen in my entire life. I won't post them, but you can go over on her Instagram and it's so cute. I have a box sitting back here I have to send her of makeup to play with. I can't wait to see her do her little thing. So if Yvonne is watching, hey Yvonne, I'm gonna send you this makeup and I wanna see you do your mama's face. But yeah, she did amazing. I had such a good time catching up. It was in Tampa in Ypor City, which is crazy because that was my old stomping ground when I was younger and sowing my wild oats. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this one here. I think it's called Drip Tip. Drip Tip. It's very pretty. Just be aware there is a lot of fallout with this. I start concentrating and then I forget I'm supposed to be talking. I like it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Circle of Life shade in this teensy tiny brush. So now I'm gonna take this tiny, tiny, tiny brush, tiny, tiny, and use a little bit of this brown and just reinforce around the cut crease. Okay, let's do some liner. And I did, it had been so long since I picked up a NYX Epic Ink. I grabbed one of these. I'm still 100% obsessed with what we do in the shadows. Show on FX and it has become my comfort show between that and Schitt's Creek. I've also been doing cross stitch, which is supposed to help with anxiety, which I have David Rose right there. I have all what we do in the shadows there. But yeah, it's totally my comfort show. Does anybody else do that? I watch it every single night. I mean, I have several and I go through cycles where something else will be a comfort show, but that one's it right now. Parks and Rec, New Girl, The Office. Those are always good too. I forget how good this liner is. It's a brush tip if you prefer brush tips. Okay. So I'm gonna do a bit of underpainting. And I did pick up this jcat masterclass face fx color palette um i know that halloween is coming up but i also wanted to do some videos about color theory and wanted to have this so i figured i'd see if it was any good and i can make my own contour bronzer blush palette so now I have a good color for, for underpainting. And that came from the net. And you only need the tiniest amounts. It's very pigmented. I know this is not a normal makeup step, 
like every day, but I'm just playing. Sometimes it's just fun to play. It's very creamy, very blendable. I like it so far. I have got to color my hair soon. It's driving me nuts. I've had time. I gave myself the bangs and that's been about all I've done. Why well, is nothing sticking right there? It might be that sunscreen. Okay, that just looks like dirt on my forehead. It looks fine here. I mean, I know it's just underpainting. Don't love that. We're just gonna kind of get rid of that. But again, it could be the sunscreen. Products just don't mix. Okay, mom. All right. They can't all be winners. Next, and I always check Ulta's like new section, and they had the new uh, Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in. I think it's only new because it's travel size, but I hadn't tried it in a while, so we're gonna try it again. I know I tried it a long time ago. I got a shade that is too light for me, of course, 125. So I may have to deepen it up a little bit. A bit. We we'll use bronzer and whatnot. So I'm just applying this with a uh, Refer 37 and I'm tapping it in with my sponge. It's thinner than I remember. I don't know why. I don't know why I remember this being thicker. It's pretty. I've been trying to keep my foundation more to the perimeter of my face and letting my concealer do the work on the center. The older we get, the less product, the better. I'm still adding some, just not as much. I do like that this is a squeezy tube. It's a nice medium. That's a nice medium. So what can see? I'm gonna go in with my Kosas, I think. I don't find this has the greatest coverage, so I'm gonna let it sit for a second. I had to take my hair down. I was, my migraine was starting to ramp up, so I put a different hair tie in, took the headband off, sometimes that happens. I really wanna know if any of you have migraine, if there's any devices you use. Like, okay, so I'm a member of a makeup discord group and one year for my birthday, they got me this llama. It's like a stuffed llama that you can put in the microwave and it heats up and I had always been somebody that heat worked really well or sorry ice worked really well for my head I mean it didn't get rid of it but it cut me from you know puking and going to the hospital but now I found that heat actually helps like the back of my head so I get that llama but if you guys have any other recommendations for stuff like that medication I've tried everything. I've had this since I was. And now my poor son, he's 12 and he's starting to get them. I feel so bad for him because there's not much that hurts worse. Okay, there's the skin. It's fine. Okay, so next, Elf came out. Elf is coming for Charlotte Tilt. And I got two contour shades, two blushes, and one highlighter. So I got fair light and light medium. Fair light look like a contour, light medium look like a bronzer. So that's what we're gonna use them as. Well, that was kind of effortless. Hmm, okay. We take the a light medium. Yeah, I don't think that J Cat mixed well with this <sighs> SPF. They're not playing real well with each other. But I think this is okay. That's very pretty. That'd be very pretty on, like, just natural skin, too. Anyone else dealing with hair loss? That's fun. 
But y'all want a video of my husband doing my makeup? He's hilarious. He's one of the funniest people I know. I think it would make a great video. Okay, let's, let's talk about blush, baby. All right, I picked up Candlelit, which is like peach, gasm. I know what they're doing. And Rosé You Slay. Hello. Not you. I'm feeding the bow. Did they pick their bowl that time? Are you not going to eat? This is fair light and this is light medium. Obviously that's a contour and that's a bronzer and I think they were made that way. Um, this one is Candlelit and this one is Rosé Usle and I think that's the one I'm going to use today. And I don't know that I need a highlighter with either of these but we're going to see what happens. And I'm going to pick a brush wisely for this because I'm going to use this little angled synthetic brush from, who are you? Spectrum. Oh, wow. Okay. That one's damn near dried already, so I'm scared. A little bit of this. Very pigmented. I love that. This brush is a little too floppy though. Yeah, this is a ColourPop. Yeah, this is a ColourPop brush. I'm gonna take it kind of up under my eye. Very pigmented, this one. Gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. I see you, elf. How many of y'all have been laying off the bronzer lately and going ham on the blush like the 80s? Just been feeling it. So what if we, I hate to waste this. What if we just added some of that over it too? Might as well. That's pretty too. I love it. I love it. I want to get the rest of these blushes. Let's add some to our nose like we're 20. I mean, I do get sunburned. I live in Florida. If I start adding freckles, y'all come check on me. Champagne color. I don't need it, but we're going to add some because I'm a ho for glow. So let me wipe this off. I'll swatch this one for you. Wipe it up and swatch it. Y'all, pray for you, girl. I really want to get my teeth done. After I got sick, they just were like, deuces. It's probably my biggest uh, insecurity, but I'm not going to let it stop me from filming. Um, but here's the candlelight. Very pretty, just as the name states, champagne. And this, I think I'm just going to use my sponge. Oh, okay. Ding. Okay, so I feel like when I put it on my finger, it lifted up some of my base, so. Go in with your sponge. We're glowing to Jesus today. I don't care if it highlights my wrinkles. I earned them. All right, I'm gonna add some powder and then I'll be back. I'll be back to talk about lips. My lover, my better half, my best friend of 15 years has decided to mow the grass, which I truly appreciate, but you're gonna hear it. So we're gonna move on. If I can't fix it in editing, I'm sorry, it is what it is, but I wanna make this, so please just bear with me. Um, I went ahead and finished up my eyes elf liner on the waterline. This one from the, I think it was their play collection or something like that. Um, I love their pot liners. Amazing. Um, Milani, their Thrive Dupe, highly rated, whatever. Lashes, I love these. These are the Kiss Couture Naked Drum. I picked these up from Ulta too. These are the style Lacy. 
and they are perfect if you have hooded eyes. That's a directed ringnet. Again from JCAT. They came out with two new lip products. The Amaze Me Tinted Lip Crayon. I thought these would be good spring shades. This is anything and everything, a Barbie pink. So cute. Just a twist up, super cute. Then this one, this one is called Dear Universe. Right there, I think that'll be the one I use. And then the other thing they came out with are these Dew Glow Lip Hydrators. Very cute packaging. This one is a glaze for days. And this one is called Dew Hydrate. D-E-W. Get it? And that's more of like a corally shade. And actually, I think that is going to be the one I use. And I did pick up a lip liner. I have not tried anything from Morphe in a while. And these look slightly interesting. They are the Filling Gel Lip Liner from Morphe. Sorry, the Soulmate Filling Gel Lip Liner. And I got the shade My Boo. So that's the shade My Boo. And I don't think I'm gonna use that shade because I wanna use this other lipstick. Um, but it is very pretty. I have used it and it's very good. Don't fight. Bowie's being very bossy. Let me show you what he's doing. Are you being bossy? You being real bossy? You being mean to Walter? Don't be mean to Walter. Bowie, are you being mean? Don't be mean to your son. He's being a butthole to Walter. Chomp, 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 chomp. Are you the goodest boy, Walter? Walter! No matter how much you groom this dog, he looks like a street dog. Um. Anyway, let me find a lip liner. I have a dose of colors when I'm going to use for this, I think. And while I'm applying it, I'm going to show you me applying the other lipsticks. They're really good. Yeah, this one's a little more peachy, so I'm going to use this. Very pretty. I like it. Okay, I'm going to pose my face down. Do something with my body and my hair. And I'll be back. We're sporting the Better Off Red merch today. Because we are goblins, us redheads. I'm an actual redhead. You'd never know though. Except that I'm pale as a mug. Alright, it's the best we're doing today. It's a hot day. Anyway. Let's talk about the makeup. Um, this is the final look. I'm actually very happy with this skin. Very happy with the eyes. I love these lashes. Those are cute. Yeah, I am pretty happy with everything. And I actually went back in with the e.l.f. over powder. No problems at all. I think there may have been a little... Mm, these two didn't mix. So I'm going to try them. I'm going to try this with something else. So I can't really give you my thoughts on this, but I want to try mixing up some blushes. I'll uh, do a, make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. So, cause I'll do a, uh, a little video on mixing up my own blushes, lipstick, that sort of thing. And I'll also update you on this. I love this. I don't know why more people don't stand jcat they're such a good brand it's so inexpensive and everything worked beautifully i love the look i came out with and there's another one that's like a blue theme i really want it so i'm gonna try to order some more but as for now this jungle roar will be used quite a bit i don't know how the fenty is gonna wear but so far i really like it it does it's not too matte I don't remember trying this. And if I didn't, I may have been missing out. I think this might be a good mixing foundation for some of my others that are a little too luminous, but I'm gonna keep using it. Um, great for travel. We're gonna stick it in the daily use drawer and keep it in the rotation. NYX Epic Ink Liner, happy to have one of these back in Happy to have one of these back in my life. Doesn't skip, doesn't drag. It's just so, so good. 
rivals any high end liner must have. Very black, very matte. The new e.l.f. products, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. I don't think you need all of them. I'm happy with these two, so I won't be getting any more colors. The blushes, though, I would like the others. Um, I don't think I'll be getting any more highlighters because I think this is enough. Also, I think uh, with the blushes, you actually don't need a highlighter because they're kind of those blush lighter vibes. I have only tried Peach Gasm from Charlotte Tilbury, and I feel like this is a total dupe. It's pigmented just like that. It's um same sheen, same everything. So yeah, save your coin, get some out. The new lip liners from Morphe. I will report back on how they wear, but applied beautifully. I hate when um lip liners pill. Everyone loves NYX and they pill on me, so I don't like them. I also like that they have the little sharpener on the bottom. Super creamy, easy to apply, something from Morphe I like. They do have that gel texture like the Sephora gel lip liners and I love, I love the Sephora gel lip liners um, because there's something with gel when you have like more mature lips or fine lines, it, uh, it does kind of fill in those lines a little bit. The Morphe one was definitely just as good as the Sephora, so. And these are like my favorite lip liners. The J Cat Amaze Me Tinted Lip Crayons. These are cool. I love these. And it is a matte product, but they're not drying. I love a crayon. I love that it's twist up. It just seems to be a good product. They last. Um, I am very excited about this line. And the Do Glow a Lip Hydrator. It's, it doesn't have the shine of like, uh, let me give you some comparison. That's the J Cat right there. That's uh, Makeup by Mario. That, oh, that one is Flower Beauty. And that is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. And as you can see, it's not quite as shiny as these three but almost like you're gonna get the same vibe and this is like three dollars four dollars so if you're on a budget which i am check out jcat i am not sponsored i'm by i'm not sponsored by anybody <laughs> so yeah just check them out they're so good and i don't know why nobody talks about them i used to hear tati talk about them but not anymore so and they have cool products man all right, my loves, that is gonna be all for me today. I appreciate you putting up with my uh, my squirrel brain, my hectic schedule. Um, I just love y'all so much. I can't thank you enough for the support you show me lately. It means the world to me. We hit 1300. I'm so excited, we're growing. We have new people. I hope you will stick around. I hope you will uh, share this with your friends. Say, Hey, there's just a crazy old lady with this chaotic energy. Um, check her out. She's real cringe, and but she's fun. Okay, I love you. Come see me on TikTok and Instagram, and I think that's the only other place I am. I mean, you can follow me on Facebook, but who does that? I will see you next time. Hit the like button on your way out. I know everybody says that. It helps a lot. Also. Leave me a comment um, if you made it all the way to the end. Leave me the kiss emoji. All right. Love you so much. Bye.